Okay. Any funny things while I was down there? No. I was recording, so mm. if you did. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's start over from the top. Should I clap? Yeah. Okay. My name is Ryan Redman, and I'm the executive director of the Flourish Foundation. Of the many things we do at the Flourish Foundation, one of the most important things that we focus on is the cultivation of human values, a central pillar focusing on the cultivation of joy. And we all know there are many types of joy, the joy of relief, the joy of contentment, the joy of elevation, but one type of joy that is especially beneficial is the joy of gratitude. It's funny to think about what is it like to see someone else experience gratitude because the immediate feeling I have is gratitude. What am I grateful? <laughs> oh no, that's an awesome question. Grateful for. Um, grat. Yeah, huge one. Um. Wait, <laughs> I don't. Grateful for a lot. <laughs> I'm grateful for really everything right now. I've been so grateful for being here. I'm grateful for the people. Now you're gonna make me cry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Being able to. <laughs> we got a friend. Being able to form new relationships like this. <laughs> to be grateful in the moment, you kind of feel very present. You just feel very open. I think as a as a person and as a community, and it feels really kind of important to be grateful because. Every second that you do something that feels so normal and consistent, it makes you feel just like you should be more grateful for every second of life. And I think that being grateful inspires us to be better people. I think it inspires us to be kinder to the people in our communities. And I think it just inspires us to move through life a little bit more present. So I think gratitude brings out the best in people. And when you see gratitude happening, or like, when somebody is giving gratitude to someone or something, it inspires others to do the same, and that just makes the world a better place, I think. <laughs> and gratitude is just this incredible antidote to dissatisfaction. You know, it's probably one of the most studied emotions, one of the most studied practices is cultivating gratitude. And it's one of the things that we know, you know, full stop is best for our emotional well-being is to keep reminding ourselves of the things that we do have and the time that we, you know, the time that we still have and the things that are still around. The more I talk, the more I think about things I'm grateful for. <laughs> so thankful, like grateful for the opportunity to be here um, because I know a lot of people don't have that and I honestly never thought I'd get the opportunity to be here. So it's just so wonderful. It just lets us really think about what it's taken for us to get there. I think after a bit of rain, there's green all over, and that just sort of reminds you that there's life, there's, there's beauty. I'm very grateful for beauty, actually. Uh, I think we let beautiful things go past, much like gratitude. We let beautiful things go past. We walk past what is extraordinary, and we take it as normal because we see it so often. So I'm grateful to be living in a world with extraordinary. I think recently also today, I've just been very grateful for just um, my body and the physical things I can do and my abilities and what I'm capable of. I think, yeah, be able to walk and hike these beautiful trails and mountains. So yeah, I think just for the little things I'm very grateful for. My name is Limise, Limise Kakai in South Africa from Grahamstown. I'm so grateful to have uh, Noah and this is my husband Masi. Well, the value is big Noah. 
it's very big because if you are actually a person that say thank you you are giving that person a chance to always come to you especially when the gratitude comes from your heart the reason why we believe that we know no what today it's because of what we do for the community so we really are so grateful Imagine like if we all just, like if we were in a place where all people like acted like that, you know? Like it would be so, uh, there, there, it would just be so lit, <laughs> it would be so baller. <laughs> but like <laughs> all that people want in life is to be seen, is to be heard, is to be like, it's to feel like they belong. And I think like when gratitude is expressed towards people and towards, the things that people do, it gives them value to their actions. It's just so special to like make other people feel so worth something and valued so much for things that they do. I've felt days where, yeah, like, I don't know where my next meal will be or where we will sleep tonight and stuff. So I think after having those moments and life experiences with my family and myself, within the suffering you I've been through, I think that's, it like flourishes into this beautiful gratitude. Yeah, why complain about life when you have so much to be grateful about when you have all of this around you um, and the people around you and the people you've met, so the places you'll see. Well, <laughs> I don't know, this could be harsh. Um, never forget um, the people that helped you to be where, wherever we are. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really important to like walk every ground in gratitude. That was so All right, are you gonna use that in your video? <laughs> it makes life worth it. It makes, it makes it worth it to wake up and get out of bed in the morning. It makes it worth it to get busy and do things, it makes it it makes it worth it because gratitude shifts your focus into all that you have around you that's worth having, all that you have that's good. I think it's a wonder that certain things are probably not necessary for our human existence but we have them anyway so that we can enjoy our existence and I think gratitude causes you to see all of the wonderful things that you actually have around you that make life worth it. So I think it makes, it helps us to live. Um, sometimes people say, you know, how do you remain optimistic? How do you remain happy? Because if you've got a bunch of things that you're grateful for, you've always got not only something to hope for, but also something to enjoy. And, and I think, that lightens every burden, that, that, yeah, it makes life worth it. <laughs> I think gratitude makes life wonderful. It's like, what is better than that? That's why I want my tombstone to say, here lies Noah Kosky. He was grateful and then he died. Because I think that's kind of all I want the world to know about me. It's just that I'm grateful. All the relationships that I've had through our work at Flourish makes me feel the most grateful. We've had quite a few cold days and today's a much warmer day.